Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they talk about this Thompson's Gazelle, and they say it can run really fast, but the acceleration is modest. We can assume the acceleration is 4.2 meters per second squared for six and a half seconds for the model for this gazelle, after which they say it continues at a steady speed. What are we given to start off with? They don't tell us any initial velocity, so we're going to assume that it's starting from rest. So the initial velocity will be zero meters per second. The acceleration, they tell us, is 4.2 meters per second squared, and the time will be 6.5 seconds. So if we were to make a little representation here, what's going on is it's accelerating for a section and then it's going at a constant speed for a section. So for part A, they tell us to find the gazelle's top speed. So for one, so we need to find the final velocity. The equation that we can use is V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. We've talked in other problems that this is essentially just an expanded form of the acceleration formula. V final minus V initial is delta V, so they just added over V initial to this side. The initial velocity though we said were, is assumed to be zero. So V final for its top speed is the acceleration 4.2 meters per second squared times the time. 6.5 seconds. 4.2 times six and a half seconds is 27.3 so we'll round that down to 27 so 27 meters per second is the top speed for the thompson's gazelle for part two they tell us that a human would actually win in a really short race with a gazelle the best time for a 30 meter sprint for a human is 3.6 seconds and how long would it take the gazelle to do the same race so for two we'll be using x final is equal to x initial plus initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. We're using this one because it has time in the equation and we have all the other variables that we need for this. The initial velocity again is zero for the gazelle and the x initial is also going to be zero. So we have x final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. We're trying to solve for the time. So first let's multiply both sides of the equation by two, which is the same as two over one. So multiplying by the reciprocal, we'll cancel that out. So we have two times the x final, and then we'll divide both sides by a is equal to t squared. We take the square root, so t is equal to the square root of two times the final distance divided by the acceleration. So let's come over here so we have some space. So t is equal to the square root of two times the distance we said was 30 meters. And the acceleration we said was 4.2 meters per second squared. So we'll take the square root of two times 30 divided by 4.2 gives us 3.8. So the time is 3.8 seconds. So they're correct, a human, a fast human could win a gazelle for a 30 meter dash. Now for this last part, they tell us that a gazelle would win in a longer race. For a 200 meter dash, a human runner's best time is 19.3 seconds. And how long would it take the gazelle to do that race? If you remember though in the problem, they told us that the gazelle has two sections, one where it's accelerating and one where it's going at a constant speed. So we'll be using the same equation that we used before, the x final is equal to x initial plus initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. The x initial we said is zero and the initial velocity is zero. So x final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. So one half the acceleration we said was 4.2 meters per second squared times the time of 6.5 seconds squared will give us an x final of 0.5 times 4.2 times t squared is 6.5 seconds. Okay, so we have 88.725 I'm not going to round that just so that we don't get a rounding error later on. So 725 meters. We have a 200 meter dash, of course. So 200 subtracted 
88.725 meters. That's meters. So 200 subtracting the answer will give us a 111.275, 1.275 meters. So this is how much we have left in the race when the gazelle is going at the constant speed. In the first part up here, we already figured out what the maximum speed was for the gazelle. We said it was 27.3. We rounded it to 27 for the answer, but we'll use a 27.3 for down here. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out for this section. We already know that up here, the time for the acceleration section was 6.5 seconds. Let's change colors again, just so we can tell them apart. So we can use the velocity equation. It's change in the distance over change in time. And we'll isolate that for the change in time. So we'll multiply this over and divide by V. So T is equal to the change in X over the change in V. The change in the distance, we just solved for it right here. So we have 111.275 meters divided by the velocity we found was like we talked about 27.3 meters per second. When we have meters divided by meters per second, it will be the same as meters times seconds over meters. We're just multiplying by the reciprocal. Meters will cancel leaving seconds over one. So we're good on the units. So we have that answer divided by 27.3 gives us 4.06, we'll round that to 4.1. So 4.1 seconds for that section. So the total time that it'll run for this race is 6.5 plus 4.1, giving us 10.6. So we have 10.6 seconds for the 200 meter sprint for the gazelle. And the human can only run it in 19.3 seconds. So in the longer race, of course, the human's just getting annihilated by the gazelle.